In this video, this German guy is going to a Lidl grocery store in the United States. We are Deanna and Phil. Deanna is from the United States and I'm from Germany and we are currently in the US. And since the US has Aldi and Lidl grocery stores or supermarkets, we thought it's a good idea to go there and check out if it's the same as in Germany or if it's totally Americanized. Here we go. Alright, so we just arrived and one thing I'm noticing is uh, there are carts everywhere on this parking lot. There's a whole bunch over here and then you got another one over there and I'm just assuming they don't use the coin system. Yeah, it looks like they have an option for the coin system though. It looks like that could be there but they decided not to. Taking that one? Yeah. Okay. Just rolled up and this thing looks amazing. It looks super modern, super glassy it's huge too so i can't wait to check it out let's go in very cool in here that's nice so we masked up um, fruit section at the beginning that's not what we're here for we're here for that i was happy to see that just like in germany we have a nice in-store bakery section with baked goods like croissants bread rolls little pizza rolls donuts and many more of course we had to get some of those items to try at the end of this video Yummy. We're definitely getting a pretzel roll. Most German bread roll. Bloop. I noticed immediately that this Lidl is way bigger than the usual ones in Germany and there is way more space between the aisles to walk around. This pizza stuff is so American. Check it out. It's 848 grams for a refrigerated pizza. And it's below six dollars that's actually fairly cheap nutella it's always very expensive in the us check it these uh, are tiny and it's a plastic one that's funny and then there's a lidl brand preferred selection from germany yeah that's a cheap lidl brand with a german flag on it it's the german nutella but nutella is uh, from italy right yeah that's kind of funny still not super cheap a little cheaper one hazelnut spread this is by Lidl so without the German branding we go even cheaper nice one thing that I didn't expect was the prices actually being properly cheap even for German standards at least for some items a gallon of milk 74 cents the chicken thighs were 79 cents per pound that's about 1 euro 50 per kilogram I'm not sure if that's a good buy or not I would like your opinion in the comment section about meat that is that cheap. You know how I say I always compare prices. One thing, something like this, because this is my favorite stuff to put on a toast, a bread roll, a bagel, whatever. But they're always very expensive, although this is a one pound package. The little brand, so this is as cheap as it gets. They're always double packed, a lot of plastic and you get this plastic box with it. Uh, these are too big for like a single household and then if you go looking for smaller ones 9 ounces how much ever that is 300 gram or so but they're still 388 in the center there's a familiar section where you can buy clothes shoes and more or less usable stuff for house and garden same as back home but bigger and even more of it do you want a sewing machine yeah i actually do Going bigger seems to be the general theme in the US and they didn't stop with this Lidl. It's very, very large and uh, I really like it. Killed wafers. We definitely need that. Oh my God. You love it, don't pretend. Frozen pizzas here are the typical US ones, which are in my opinion not that tasty, way more expensive but heavier than the German counterparts. In general, we were impressed by the quality and the cheap prices compared to other US grocery stores and we kinda wished we came here earlier and more often just to save some money. I still like Walmart, Target and Costco as well as they are more of the American superstores than this Lidl and we made reaction videos about each of those two so if you want to check them out. So chocolate section, not super German, there's no Milka, there's no British Sport, that's a little disappointing. See if there's a self-checkout. 
I totally love these self checkouts and every US supermarket seems to have them and I think we should totally adopt them in Germany. One less human interaction, wundervoll. Not that hard. No coins in the cards. Shh. All right, so we just came out and I can't believe it. We should have gone there way earlier. Yeah. I thought Walmart is the cheapest grocery store, but there are things that are way cheaper. This totally changes my perception. Like if you have a Lidl close by in the US that lowers your weekly grocery cost by a lot. And the irony is we just made a video complaining about a lot of the grocery prices that'll come out after this. But let us know where you go for cheaper groceries in the US because even Walmart tends to be a little more expensive on some items. Anyway, we're gonna eat a couple of the bakery things now or quickly try them at least. Yes. And we just wanna see if they compare to the German standard of bakery pinnacle that is the Lidl bakery in Germany. <laughs> it's not, but uh, it's we'll not check. bad. So we see if it's not bad here either. I want a pretzel. Get a piece, you get a piece, and well, we go mm. for it. I'm making a mess. Why are you the messiest human? Can you eat over this? Just please? when we film. Can you just eat over? No, you're always messy. What? That's, that, I'm True. not, I'm the, no, no, okay. Woods area than I thought. Mm -hmm. Could that be sold in Germany and mm. pass as a pretzel roll? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Two croissants. Let's do two croissants. I don't know if they have Lidl in the France, but we have croissants everywhere. I want to try the hazelnut one. Croissant. God, I'm saying it like an American now. Croissant. Croissant. Ooh, it's really filled. Holy smoke. It's a good amount of chocolate. Here this we go. is way more. Hmm. There's nothing to complain about this one. Mm -hmm. It's mm. pretty good. Such a big amount of uh, Nutella or hazelnut cream in there. I, I think love it's it. good. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. It's nice. Yeah, and the, the nice nuts on top. I give that actually yeah, an 8 out of 10. Oh. So we have one Berliner. Jam. Is it good? Mm -hmm. It's not the freshest. It feels like it's been sitting there for maybe a couple hours. I think I just ate all of the jam. It's a grocery store. Maybe they they cheap out on the amount of filling a little bit. Yeah, pretty standard burger. Not with the ch uh, chocolate croissant though. <laughs> then for the last part, if I get something from the bakery, I like the hardier things, we have a pizza thing. Pizza boat. I just got no pizza. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> One more try. Oh yeah, it's this, it doesn't look like it wow, has much on the top. That's a lot in there. Mm -hmm. Heat it up, it's way better, but. Awesome, that's gonna be my lunch. Yeah, me too, can you say that? <laughs> Yeah, I think the little bakery section here is awesome. I think in the US it's really hard to find a bakery in general. A lot of the small mom and pop bakeries are no longer in existence or they close really early. So this is kind of a good alternative. I would say overall the supermarket is not quite on the price level of the German one, but it's definitely close to it. So it's very cheap in the US supermarket landscape. Yeah. Anyway, that was our Lidl experience. Uh, very positively surprised. I don't know if you're American, let us know. Do you have a Lidl or an Aldi maybe in your close proximity? And do you go there often? Do you like it? How do you like it compared to the other supermarkets? Don't forget to like and comment on this video. Subscribe to the channel. Everything that helps the YouTube algorithm helps our channel to grow. As always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. A big thank you to everyone who watches our videos and supports us and a special thank you to our patrons for supporting us and helping us to make videos like these. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye!